My name is Wild Coons, and I'm going to be playing a few songs. The first of which is called Joni. That song is about being frustrated with people you might not see eye to eye with. When I was younger, not that I'm old, but when I was even younger, I would get really frustrated with people that I didn't see eye to eye with on certain things. So I think that song is just kind of a way to kind of get that frustration out, not necessarily in the most peaceful of terms, but just in a way that's healthy for me at least, get it out in a song. I did not know a Joni. Joni was actually named by my roommate Adam. The song was actually called Battles Over Johnny originally, but when I was playing it for my roommate Adam, he kind of like said Joni in a funny way while burping, <laughs> and it sounded like Joni. So I switched it. I switched the name, and I don't even think he actually knows that himself, that he named that song uh, Joni. <laughs> Yeah, he'll find out now, that's funny. I've probably been playing guitar, I started when I was 14. Been playing for like 16 years. Songwriting way more recently. I think I wrote when I was first getting into guitar, I tried to write songs and kind of got frustrated. And then eventually just started playing with certain people where we were just in like jam groups and jam bands. So I didn't really like teach myself how to write a song per se. So songwriting is more the last like four years. Have you recorded these songs before? Just demos. I've played them live a decent amount of times, but not, I've never taken it to that step yet, at least, being, <laughs> being optimistic. But the next one I'm gonna play is called The Mask. <laughs> Oh 
got this chest got these hands and they're grasping out back for all the time I spent on you and only you but still I try to hide away the pain the tears that I felt Cause I've got it bad But they got it more bad So go Put on the mask now It's what they expect to get from you Each and every day But you've got it back called The Mask, and that one is about an experience I think most of us have working a shitty job that you hate and having to give it so much of your time on a daily basis, but obviously needing to. The moral drudgery of that, so I wanted to write a song that was musically kind of pretty, but lyrically kind of venting some stuff, just to not let it stress me out and have power over me. It's a restaurant job. <laughs> um, no, no, I mean, everyone to each their own. It takes a great amount of patience to work in a restaurant, and people who have that amount of patience, I commend them. But I was just working at a particular restaurant, and I just was having to bite my tongue too often, I guess, with people. And I think if you let that bother you, it can, like, just stress you out. That's what that song's about. <laughs> uh, where do you find your inspiration from? What is your muse, so to speak? Not that it's like an influence on anything musically, but as far as the muse dreams, I'll, most of my stuff is dreams that I have. So if it's something that stresses me out, I'll have a dream about it and I'll, it'll have some sort of vibe or I'll hear something in the background and I'll try to like turn that into a song. So that's more of the lyrical side of things. I think musically, there are a few guitarists that I just really enjoy. Not to say I would want to ever rip them off, but I'm sure 
I emulate them without maybe realizing it. I really like Daniel Rosin in the band Grizzly Bear. His style, him and Annie Clark in St. Vincent, those are probably my top two because all of their stuff sounds like it's the scores from like a 50s spy movie. It just has that feel of dramatic early Hollywood. I can't describe it. I don't know. It has, it has this weird vibe to it where it's kind of dark, but not in a sinister way. And then also I play banjo and that helped me a lot with finger picking because once I started to use my right hand more, it became a lot more fun with what I could do just sitting in my room by myself, just working on stuff. I kind of opened the door, finding a particular vibe that I just enjoy, generally speaking. The next one is called craw, which is a word that I use for mouth. So I guess it translates to mouth. <laughs> Be any animal, mm. what would you be? Squirrels, a squirrel. 
I mean, I have squirrel tattoos, so squirrel, definitely. Kind of already know the answer to that one. I just relate to them, so I don't necessarily know if it's the animal I'd want to be, but it is the animal that I would be, being honest with myself. Like, I'm just squirrely, I'm very neurotic, and in my room, if I have a thing, and I'm like, oh, where would be a good spot for this? I'll put it in a nonsense spot. It'll be like buried in the back of my closet, like hidden away. Like I squirrel things away. I think it's good to be honest with yourself in life. So if you got it imprinted on you, it's the safe bet. It's the way you'd be, I think. Yeah. <laughs> this last one is called the stone. This one is kind of a spur of the moment one. Sometimes it takes you two months to finish the song. Sometimes you do it in an afternoon. So this one was more being honest with the time I was dealing with. Was it something hard you were going through? There are some of those that have depression for no specific reason. So one of those times, when I'm experiencing those times and I know that it's just like my brain getting me into its own trap, music is my outlet to remind myself. This is just whatever, you're just going through this cycle, play it out through music, use that energy in like a good way as fuel. So that's kind of where this song came from. I think we all have a, some form of our own. I guess the key is figuring out how to manage your own personal, <laughs> your own personal type you got rocking. <laughs> that's actually part of the site, it's not just about art and music, it's about how the arts can help you and is therapeutic towards yeah. dealing with your mental illness or your depression or what have you. Yeah, it's a healthy way to do it. And also, you acquire a talent. That's how I look at it. If I'm sad and I play guitar to get it out, it's literally me spending time on a craft. The more often you do that, it kind of helps you snap out of your own funk. You're being productive. I think productivity is huge. Being productive with things you actually want to accomplish is is easier said than done, but I think it's a good way to snap out of like your own little traps that your brain is putting you in. I know I worry too much Weighs me down Down in the reeds I'd play the thief I'd play the robber If it meant that I get to steal steal from only you but I
little selfie. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Yeah. Hey, Wild Coons, uh, yeah. check it out. This is uh, uh, DVD concerts on Dan Victor Does. This is episode two. Um, so, so tell us where uh, uh, folks can find you online. Almost mainly just Instagram these days, just wild underscore coons, wild coons. Uh, but I am working on recording, uh, so there'll be updates on there as well. Nice. So yeah, thank you for giving it a listen. 